Well, welcome back to our Facebook book live forum. Uh, today, it's Felipe Liao, our director of advice. Uh, sorry, I'm the director of advising counseling, Marissa. I have Felipe Liao, the director of financial aid. And today we have a guest with us showcasing a wonderful support service that she offers or that she has on our campus, uh, Ms. Cassandra Flores. Um, so she's going to be sh showcasing Fuente for us. And so without further ado, I'm going to bring the floor over to, to Cassie to, to talk a little bit about her program. Hey, all This is Cassandra or Cassandra Flores or Cassie. You guys can call me Cassie. Most people know me as that. I am the Puente Program Coordinator, as she mentioned. Marissa, thank you so much. I kind of wanted to ask you guys some questions or a question, and that's like, what has the college going experience been like for you? Like, has it been a straight line? Has it been, you know, here and there, like gaps here and there? And how has it been for you guys? Like, if you can show me a meme, I can, I have a meme pulled up of what it was like for me when I was going to college. I was like, what are all these people talking about? Like, what is a transcript and what does it mean to be official? So here's my little screen here. That's what it looked like for me. I was like, what is all of this? I looks like we lost, looks like we lost Cassandra. I'm gonna work on getting her back. Marissa. Okay, so it looks like we lost we lost Cassandra. I'm not sure what happened. So uh, we've got someone in the background trying to figure out what's going on with her technical problems. But in the meantime, we are still here to offer any services that you may need or answer any questions you may need particular to our services. Um, as always, um, we are still providing full services uh, through remote means, whether it's through Blackboard, whether it's through WebEx, you know, we're doing advising online. We are answering questions through email, through text messages. Uh, we have had uninterrupted services since March 16th, and we want to make sure that we provide a face, a live face to offer any other or answer any other questions that you may have as it pertains to admissions or the current classes that you're in or anything like that. So, um, if anybody has any questions, you can go ahead and put it in the chat. I am able to see the chat here. Um, and, and once Cassie comes back online, we'll be able to get her uh, up and moving about her Puente program, which is an awesome um, opportunity for students. Uh, moving forward, we are going to be showcasing different um, areas. We're going to have the honors program coordinator, some students come. We're also going to have um, next week, we're going to have uh, Dr. Jessica thompson Faya come, and she's going to discuss all the support services that we offer to ensure that you understand that even though we're remote, they're still offering those services for you while you're in class uh, remotely. And we, we want to make sure that you feel comfortable uh, and you have any, uh, if you have any concerns in terms of trying to get through your classes, that we are here to offer anything that you need um, and to make sure that you are successful in all of your classes. Um, I see actually a question. Yay, Mary Lee. Uh, will we have some sort of assistance for the fall, like the summer courses that were free? Felipe, do you want to talk a little bit about some of the, the initiatives that we have? We do have an initiative right now for the fall. Uh, currently, it's just for if you're a recent uh, high school graduate of the Goose Creek ISD um, and you're enrolled full time at Lee College. Uh, we are going to first leverage your financial aid to see if uh, we can assist you there. However, if for some reason uh, the financial aid piece does not assist you well enough, we would the, uh, the school will, will pick up the tab on the rest of that. And uh, But uh, Goose Creek ISD students for now, uh, you do have that free tuition option if you're, again, Goose Creek ISD graduate and you're enrolled full time. So if you have any questions, please let us know as to the, the particulars of that, but there is an initiative going on right now. Thank you, Felipe. Another question that we had um, is from Diana, and she's asking, when can we accept the fall semester awards? And I'm assuming, Diana, you're talking about financial aid. Yes, right now you can do it now. The, the sooner the better, this way they'll be ready for disbursement. Um, if you'll go to your MyLC account on the portal, uh, you'll see the financial aid tab, and then you have the option to, of course, all grant aid is automatically accepted. 
but uh, I think we did uh, upfront loan amount. So if you do want the loan or you need the loan, let me rephrase that. If you need the loan, then go ahead and accept it and we can process it from there. If you're a first time borrower, you will need to go uh, to studentloans.gov to complete the master promissory note and to complete entrance counseling. If you've done that already, then we've got it in our system and you're ready to go. We just need to accept the loan amount. But let me reiterate that loans are the easiest loan you'll ever get in your life, but it will be the most difficult to pay back. And so you need to borrow wisely. Borrowing wisely helps you down the line because you don't want to leave school already owing twenty, thirty thousand dollars in debt without having a job. So um, a lot uh, do, you know, once they graduate, have something lined up, but uh, you just don't want to have that extra burden on you uh, if you don't really need it. Some of you do need it and that's okay. That's understandable, but uh, don't just take it just because it's sitting up there waiting for you. So you have to borrow wisely. We do and have Felipe, some, Diana uh, had a follow-up question. Uh -huh. Sorry. Felipe, um, Diana had a follow-up question. She said, my son still says unavailable. So Diana, what I would do, it, do you have an answer to that or do you want her just to email you directly about her specific Just email question? me directly. I'll have to go and check uh, his record to see where he is in the process. And then if there's any um, kinks in the process, we need to iron those out right, right now. So email me at the, um, the email address that you see right there. And then I'll be able to, uh, <laughs> to assist you directly. And it's uh, fleal at lee.edu. Excellent. So it looks like Cassie's back on. Cassie, can you hear us? Did I come off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, oh, so we'll sorry. continue what with the questions. Uh, with the picture, with the meme. Did we get any responses? No, we started, uh, students started asking questions on the, about pause classes and stuff like that. By, by the way, Kevin, we will be hitting you back up here a second, here shortly to talk about uh, your pause classes. So give us a second so Cassie can finish her presentation. Go ahead, Cassie. Yeah, okay. So I, I gave a whole speech. I didn't realize I was off air. <laughs> I'm going to give it again. Um, okay, so I was just talking about our program, the Puente program, which has been at Lee College for a few years now. It was brought on in 2012. Um, so we've been kind of a hidden gem. We're growing um, exponentially, thankfully, and we're looking for new students to join our program in the fall semester. And hopefully that could be you guys who are watching now. Um, so what we do in our program, again, I am the coordinator for the program, but a major part of my role, and one of the reasons why I asked you guys to kind of think about what the college experience has been for you is because I know that it can be confusing. There's a lot of times or there's a lot of things and vocabulary that we use that you guys may not be aware of or how it affects you personally. Um, and so it can be kind of confusing. And my role, uh, a big part of my role, as I was saying, is being an advisor, help guiding you through that process from start to finish, kind of helping that maze become a straight line. So what does it take to, to go from where you are to getting you into the seat at Lee College? Um, so that's one of the support systems that we offer, whether I'll be your advisor from start to finish, whether you stay in your same major or change it. Um, and also whether you decide to transfer at, to a university or not. So our job is to provide you with a platter of support our goal is to see you succeed, whether that is getting your associate's degree or transferring. Um, we have some instructors who have agreed to teach for a program. They're super awesome. Um, they teach in non-traditional formats. So a lot of times, you know, we, we have like these traditional formats and we have certain books like Shakespeare and stuff, which is awesome. I'm not saying that they're the they're bad or anything but sometimes we don't really understand like or empathize with what's going on there and so our instructors have learned how to take you know poetry different forms of literature to help you better understand the material and bring it into the classroom and even your own life experiences um, in english 1302 for this spring semester for instance we also help create those experiences so we had our humanities course linked with our English 1302 course, and they read a book called Forgetting the Alamo, and it's a history of the Alamo uh, for black, brown, 
and in Native Americans here. So it, it, we were going to take our students over to um, before COVID, you know, all that COVID stuff happened, but over to the Alamo. Um, but we do offer different experiences for students. Like we do um, volunteer opportunities, different stuff, and I'll get to that. Um, we connect students to mentors and who are professionals in the area for which they want to major in. And I think that's one of the most unique parts of our uh, program. And we are nationally recognized for it. So for you, where you currently are, you're going to school to learn the profession, to learn how to be the person that you want to be when you grow up, right? Um, so it's not just learning what classes you need to take. Um, you know that which is my role and some of our roles here as a as a professional in higher education but we also want you to learn what it takes you know what it was like from that other perspective from that professional perspective what it took for that individual to get to be a teacher or to be an engineer to be you know so many different things um and so i can't offer you that perspective because i'm not an engineer but maybe a professional can and so we will try to connect you in that format you know provide those networking opportunities for you um we have scholarship opportunities which is awesome um especially for those students in stem programs and those students who want to major in pre-engineering they may qualify for our next gen program uh, for those who qualify, I know that for the fall semester, you know, we have some initiatives for you guys to come to Lee College by, you know, by way of financial aid and scholarships for those of you who graduated in the 2020 uh, school year um, in Goose Creek ISD. But we continue that on throughout if you qualify throughout your academic career at Lee College, uh, paying for your tuition and fees up to $3,000 if you qualify for that pre-engineering program or next-gen program. Um, we offer volunteer opportunities, as I mentioned. We do a lot of community service. I'm, I'm a big fan of community service. You're not required to do this, but I do plan these events and I welcome you to attend them. Um, university trips and so many more resources that we offer. And this support is available to you at Lee College. Again, we're a, a department within the college um, and it's at no cost to you. The only thing that we want is to see you succeed. Um, so I, I hope that you consider our program. We would love to see you there. I mean, if you have all the answers, well then, you know, come help me out. But um, if you don't, then look for your resources, search for those people that can help you on campus, and hopefully I can be one of those individuals. Um, you can reach me at kflores at lee.edu. Um, you can also book an appointment with me, and I'm hoping that somebody can help me out in, in posting this on the Facebook page, but um, that's at puenteprogram.youcanbook.me, um, and that's how you can book an appointment with me, and we can talk about your courses, if you qualify for the program, any questions that you may have. I also have a Thursday um, info information session um, every Thursday, as I mentioned, at 2 p.m. through Zoom, and I'll see if we can get the link up for you guys. All right. Thank you, Cassie. I really appreciate um, all of that great information. Um, does anybody have questions for her that you can type in the chat or anything like that? Any kinds of questions? Um, just, just as a reminder, she hosts information sessions every Thursday at 2 p.m through Zoom. Uh, that link should be able to be found on the website. And you can also book an appointment with her by through puenteprogram.youcanbookme.me. So if anybody has any additional questions or concerns, you're able to, to see that or find all her information on the Puente website. I do have a real quick question. Um, what what um, How can I qualify for Puente? Do you have to be a Hispanic student to qualify for Puente? Yeah, so our name sometimes confuses students and Puente, what it means is bridge. And we're trying to provide that bridge for you guys from, you know, where you are now to college success or the, the completion of college. Um, and so initially it was started in California a while back. Um, and it was for a group of Hispanic students and the name came from there. It was It was catering to a specific uh, caseload of students back in California. It has then, you know, gone across the nation here in Texas. Now, uh, I believe we're there in Washington state. And so this program has grown exponentially across the board 
and we're accepting all students into our program. You don't necessarily have to be Hispanic to be a part of it. Um, so some of the qualifications are you need to need your English, your English courses, anywhere from your lower level English, which is RABR 300. I know technical talk and I can help you understand what that means um, up to English 1301. And then also those that EDUC 1200 course. And so, again, if you want to learn more about the program or if you want to know if you qualify, you can always email me or uh, book an appointment and I'll be happy to tell you um, if you do or, or don't. Um, if you don't, I will not leave you hanging. I will connect you to the next person that you need to, to be with or talk to. Um, so those are the qualifications for the program. Excellent. Thank you so much. I, don't I do want to make a comment other... about, um, I'm sorry, if, um, about getting involved no. on campus. And Point is a great place to be because they do provide a lot of um, activities for students and studies have shown that the more you get involved in school on campus, different areas, the more successful you are because you begin to build networks with other students. Um, and then you go on to um, get your bachelor's degree, master's doctorate, whatever. Those students are shown to be more successful because they tend to go on to those higher degrees and actually on to the terminal degrees. So, uh, get involved in school. Point is a great place to start. Uh, they've got great, great opportunities for students. And so, um, like I said, just get involved. Thank you, Felipe. And if anybody's interested in being a mentor, I know she's always looking for mentors uh, within the program as well. So I really, I'm really excited about that. I was able to be a mentor this past semester and it was, it was a lot of fun. So you're doing a great job over there, Cass, for sure. Thank you. Do we have any other questions from the, the audience as it pertains to this? Well, she's going to be here the rest of the time. So if anything comes up, please, by all means, put it in our chat. Um, one of the questions that came up before, and thank you, Cassie. One of the questions that came Hey, Marissa, we're having a hard time hearing you right now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we have you now. There you go. Hi. <laughs> okay, so how about I un, un, uh, unmute myself? That would be helpful. Okay, so I'm going back to the original uh, question. Um, we had a question from Kevin concerning the, the continuation of the classes that are coming, uh, the, the, the finishing of the Paul's classes for summer. Dr. Carl Husband has also put in the chat the information about that. And he had stated that the Paul summer classes will restart this coming Monday. And you should receive contact from your department this week regarding any specifics if things will run differently for the remainder of the semester. So the college is, is planning on continuing uh, pause or unpausing classes this upcoming Monday um, for the summer, summer classes. Um, in terms of Oh, Melody also asked if I got a work study position, but classes are still still going to be online in the fall. What jobs will be available to fulfill my work study? Um, Dr. Kaufman is also on the chat and did reply back to Melody who emailed Lena Yepa. She's over our career and transfer services area, and she works directly with work study students and student assistants. And so she would be able to answer that question in terms of how it would pertain specifically to you, Melody. And she's at yepes at lee.edu. Um, Carl did also respond to Melody and he, state, and he stated that we will still have student assistant positions available for the fall, but some will, will likely be working from home rather than on campus. Um, he's offering his email address as well as chusband at lee.edu and he'll connect you to the student career and employment office for more information. Thanks, Carl, for getting that, Rosemary. Um, ben Lee asked, when will the classes at McNair open back up? Um, Dr. Husband also replied back to that, and he stated that the summer classes at McNair will be starting back on Monday as well. If you're enrolled in one of these summer classes, please expect some communication from your department as well this week. 
Uh, we're expecting all of the classes uh, that were paused, whether it's on the main campus or McNair, to, to go back to, um, to resume on Monday, uh, July 27th. Um, Ashley, you're asking, I'm wanting to come in fall in the fall and we'll need as much assistance as possible. Uh, what kind of assistance are you looking at needing, Ashley? If you're needing advising, if you're needing financial aid, uh, if you're interested in Puente, we're all available here to help you with anything that you may need uh, as it pertains to um, your assistance. You can email any of us and we're, we're here to answer your email and get you exactly where you need to be to, to start your process at Lee College. I also recommend that you get on the uh, the chat. We have uh, almost instantaneous response to the chats, mm -hmm. and then we can actually um, respond to you directly on your specific case. And then also um, call us. Uh, we're answering phones as well, and then uh, or email us either directly or at our um, departmental um, email addresses. Mine is of course finaid at lee.edu. There's Reg Helps for um, Marisa's area. And then I'm not sure when did I think she gave you hers earlier. So please let us know if you need assistance and we will definitely get back to you. All right, Ashley, I know, I know uh, Dr. Husband also put his email address in there so he can assist you with the admissions process. He is the director of admissions and so he can help you with that for sure. Uh, Augustine Laredo is asking, how does my daughter get into Puente? Cassie, would you like to answer to Mr. Laredo? Hi, Augustine. Yes. Um, and I think your, your son is in Puente too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, so he can, I'm going to post it on the Facebook chat or Facebook uh, comment as we speak. Uh, my contact information, and I think it's gone up now, uh, my email and my uh, how you can book an appointment with me, and I'll be happy to walk her through the process. Thank you so much for your question, Agustin. Thanks, Cassie, for putting that in there. That makes it easy for people to grab onto straight from the website, so that's great. Thank you. <clears throat> Um, also, for those students, Dr. Kaufman wanted to remind us that the, for those students that are coming onto campus on July 27th, every single day you're required to complete a, a daily health check form before coming to campus. Uh, I believe they have the QR codes that you can scan off your phone when you get to campus. Otherwise, I would already have it on your website bookmark so that you can complete it every single day. Uh, they will check to make sure that you've answered that and they will give you a wristband upon completion of that form so that you can then go to class. So it's really important that you remember that that is a mandatory thing that you have to complete every single day when you come on campus. All of us employees have to complete the same form to even enter a building. So it's a, we're being very cautious and very mindful of everybody's health and everybody's safety. So we appreciate um, all of y'all for understanding that. Uh, it looks like Scarlett has um, asked, I just dropped two classes due to difficulties with remote learning. Can I change this to NCR? I wasn't clear on what it meant until afterwards it was processed by admissions last week. My guess is that Carl probably jumped in on that one, and he did. Uh, please send me an email, chusband at lee.edu. He's the one that is overseeing the S, uh, which is satisfactory, no credit requests. Um, let's look at what you may be with your best options. Excellent. Um, Melody, if if you received if if I received a temporary layoff and qualified for free classes over the summer, and because I'm a substitute, will not be able to go back to work in the fall either, is aid being extended for those for that reason also? Felipe, can you answer to that question? Uh, currently, it's just for Goose Creek ISD, but um, we do have what they call an income reduction form. If you've already filled out your FAFSA. Go to our website under the form section and there's an income reduction form since we use income for the FAFSA for the past it was both what 2019 um, of course income has changed since then so with that form we can actually make corrections to your student aid report that would qualify you for additional aid and usually it comes in the form of grant aid uh, to assist you uh, so please fill that form out if you have any questions on that form. And with that form, you're also going to have to attach documentation from um, your uh, unemployment office or your former employer that shows that you are now unemployed or you've lost income, you've been furloughed, something like that that we could actually uh, put in your file. So 
Um, if you like, I said, if you need assistance with that, please let us know. Thanks, Felipe. In addition to that, we also have something called the Lee Cares Fund, where we're able to assist students in need. Um, there are several recent reasons that you can choose from um, that you would be able to see whether or not you qualify for that. So the Lee Cares, we have it is on, it's on our homepage, um, and it's a, the Lee Cares form. Um, where you can actually apply for, like if you have, if you need a loaner laptop, if you need additional assistance with uh, rent and you qualify for it, um, we do have funds that came from the CARES Act that, that is allowing for us to assist students through summer uh, into fall. So if, if you feel like you may need of additional assistance, please feel free to get on uh, into, onto our website and fill out that form. Um, it looks like Rosemary put up there the financial aid forms. Um, and so the, what speaking to what Felipe was talking about right now for the income reduction, you can just you can just click on that link and in the, from there you'll be able to look at the forms or see the forms to, to do the income reduction form to be able to see if you can adjust your, your um, financial aid. Uh, Lizzie has an, a question. Are classes in the fall online only? Uh, currently, Lizzie, we are solidifying different modalities for classes. Ideally, we want to be able to offer, um, we'll, we'll, we will be offering online uh, synchronous, which means it's like Lee streams. They're actually labeled as Lee streams. And what those are, are they, you meet at a specific time frame. So it would be like, you're going to actual class from like, this is say 925 to 1040, you would go to class, but you're going to be logging into your actual class virtually. So that is considered a synchronous course. And we call, we labeled those Lee streams. Asynchronous is, is just an online course where you'll just pop in uh, and get your coursework done whenever you need to. You have certain deadlines. So it's like a, a traditional online course. We also are going to have hybrid courses where you may not come in at every, where it would be traditionally a Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday class, or Monday, Wednesday class. You would either come in on Monday or Wednesday or Tuesday or Thursday so that we're able to socially distance students for whatever lab reasons, if they're taking a lab in a biology or, I'm sorry, in a, in a natural science or some, a lot of our technical classes. So um, just keep in mind that we're still shifting our schedule and we're also moving the timeframes of our schedule. We're not just gonna have traditional 16 week courses. We're also going to have late start courses, some of which that will start in September 13 week. And then we'll have 10 week courses. And then we're looking at uh, a second five week courses. So uh, we're trying to make it as easy as possible, understanding that many people are waiting on the school district to let us know or to make decisions who are in turn waiting on the state to make decisions, who's then waiting on the government, United States government to make decisions. So we wanna make it as accommodating as possible for all students who may wanna start later on once they get their students separate, their children separate or situated in classes through the ISDs. So we're trying to make it as easy as possible for everybody. Um, we also have, oh, there's the Lee Cares form. Thank you. My classes for our fall are online. I wanna switch the Lee streams with you can still make your, you can switch anytime you can, but remember these classes have a limit in terms of how many students can be in those classes. So like Carl said, uh, the sooner the better to change your courses and you can do the add drops through your MyLC campus. Um, what, if, what if we have to take a lab, um, the, the lab exactly how I just described it, you, you would either come Monday on a Monday, Wednesday, or Wednesday on a Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday or Thursday because they, we need to be able to separate and, and provide social distancing enough. So it wouldn't be every single time. Um, and then, and, and like Carl said, some labs will be online. It just depends on the classes. So we do have some actual natural sciences that have labs that are all online. We have biology classes that are gonna be offered completely online. So it's, it's very new for us. And I'm looking forward to the opportunities to learn in that capacity, uh, should anything ever come up again where we would have to shut down and we don't want y'all to have any kind of, um, uh, we don't wanna interrupt any services for y'all in terms of your learning experience. Um, let's see, is there any other questions you may all have? I know it's about that time at 6.30. I really appreciate everybody who's come and I thank you so much, Cassie, for showcasing Puente, such a, a spectacular program. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing New faces, mentors. We need mentors. If anybody's interested in mentoring, please contact Cass uh, so that we can get y'all up and running and moving. And even if it's in a virtual capacity, we still all 
um, can provide services or, or be or, or benefit from those services. So thank you, Cassie, for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And I'll post information again in the comments. Thank you. Under the Fuente, Fuente project. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, next week, we'll have Dr. Thompson, uh, Dr. Jessica Thompson Faya. She's going to be talking about the support services like tutoring um, and some of the other lab spaces that are going to be offering on campus when we do roll out on campus and virtual. And so I look forward to, again, sharing that information next week with, the, uh, with each or her sharing that information next week with each of you so that you can see we're here to support in any way we can uh, and make you feel as comfortable as possible as we go through this process. So without anything else, I guess, uh, thank you, Felipe. And I guess we'll, and thank you for to my colleagues, uh, Dr. Kaufman, Scott Bennett, uh, Dr. Husband, uh, Sarah Tidwell, and Christopher McClure for being online and answering questions for us. As, as a student affairs division, we appreciate all of y'all. Have a good one. Thank you. Be safe.